Hello, hello, hello! Hey everyone, how are we all? Nice Sunday evening. It's very dark, isn't it? Tiny bit dark. Let's uh bump it up to 3.5, let's say that. Yeah, more or less. G'day everyone! Hello! Welcome! Get on Community Clan 5942 Server 2! Saint Sass is here to bring you this evening's stream. Uh, looks like it's going to be an absolutely fantastic and, and glorious CCF end of 42. Just 10 weeks away until one year. Just 10 weeks. Looking over around about two months and two weeks. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. I hope my math is, is correct. But yeah, that's, w that's what we're looking at this evening. Uh, CCF end 42, server 2. Go check out uh, Community Clan Fight Night. Twitch, so twitch.tv, Community Clan Fight Night, you're going to go see Server 1 has another 8 clans there. We do have Hot Potatoes and Red 6, the good old streaming Purple Rain team. Uh, go check them out uh, if you are interested in seeing a Server 1. But yes, we will be on Server 2 this evening, good old Community Clan Fight Night X, X don't meet extreme, unless they bring it. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll wait for everyone to... Get together. Below me, you have a couple of fighting honey badges and mumberines. Your legs rate delta 303rd. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna actually we are gonna go on the American side. Seems we're already here on the American side. I'll start the stream uh, very very shortly. In in terms of uh, what we're gonna hear from the squad leaders, etc. etc. <laughs> In the meantime, let me just minimize real quickly, just see everything set up and A-OK. -okay. Uh, also, I'm going to do a local stream just in case things go pear shape. Let's uh, save that. So we won't have the local stream. <laughs> Should have that recording the microphone. That's just for Twitch. <laughs> All right, the uh, screen will freeze it just momentarily and then get into the game. What do we have? We have the desktop audio, the microphone going, good old Steam overlay and everything else. Good, good, good. Shots fired already. Shots fired. Oh, no. All right, we're just waiting on one or so person, I think, from the SVG, the Serenian Vanguard, just over on the Militia Forces, which you can see there in all chat off to the left. Guys, Community Clan Fight Night, uh, they're going to go live in 15645, so you're looking around about 30 seconds or so time. Guys, Community Clan Fight Night, not competitive or just bringing these amazing clans together just for a Sunday event. It's to play how squad should be played with a lot of communication and, and some decent tactics. Uh, that's all the Community Clan Fight Night is, is a community event. Uh, if you are interested in competitive type of uh, a league, go check out good old Squad Masters. Uh, they have a league going at the moment, and it's going to really kick off uh, at the start of next year. In around about three seconds' time, we are going to start, and here we go. Live, live, live. Good luck, have fun, and let's get this stream going. By me doing this, it's going to allow me to hear the squad leaders. I won't talk in the squad leader chat at all. But who do, who do we have participating in this evening for good old CCFN42? Well, for the United States side, we have the good old Mumberines M, Zulectra Delta ZXD, 303rd with an FC full contact uh, helping him out. And the Fighting Honey Badges also for the Barack. O badges. Militia side, we are going to have AOK or Age of Kill. SVG, the Serenian Vanguard. 
Good old <laughs> squad ops is ops and EUK known as Exodus with a couple of Beaver uh, substituting in from there or Exovar. Uh, we might call the the joining of there. What are we playing this evening, guys? Well, you probably did see in, of course, the uh, Twitch stream title. We are playing good old OP First Light Double Ace version 1. Uh, I will state the flags very, very shortly, but I already see uh, contacts heading. On Raybox, taking it out. Age of Kill already getting, trying to get to the first flag that we do have. Uh, good old Mumberings just situated there, around about a 2, 4, 6, 8. They're going, they're going the whole 9 squad on the first flag. Uh, looks like Age of Kill off to the northeast, 60, 75 coming on in. So it looks like already fast movers, Age of Kill getting onto the eastern side of the first flag, trying to stop it. Uh, even tr probably trying to put down a fob also. Let's get the local stream up and running as well, just in case things go sour. Uh, let me also change. There we go. Now they're nice and red. So Age of Kill are going to start uh, moving on. Even Mumberines, they, they have an idea uh, where the enemy is coming from. Possibly heard the technical that they headed in. Gregoria, Age of Kill coming out of contact with Age of Kill's Arthur, AHPO going down, and also another Age of Killian. Uh, we do now have Mumbarines pushing up to their position, Age of Kill slowly starting to go down. First cap already captured there for the American forces, uh, the second of cap. So we do now have the time, so the first flag for the American forces, Rail Docks, followed by Nilrum Village, good old storage site, which is a battlefield, and the castle along with the railroad village. Those are the cap points for each Americans and vice versa for the militia forces. Nilrum Village now getting secured by FHB or the fighting honey badgers. With already squad ups on the storage site over on the east side. East side storage. Let's fix up a couple of thing, things there. The American forces, no American forces. Zulex Ray Delta's pushed uh, two men forward, Lee and Mohom. Uh, just located up towards the 333, 45. Uh, with, with the good old Exodus and, or Exovar, let's call them the, uh, today. Exovar now moving up onto the western side of the storage side, where squad ops are on the eastern side. SVG also pushing up towards that north 345 area, just uh, supporting the north side of the squad ops. Where they are coming out to contact with Zulex Ray Deltas, uh, Mohom and Lee, Lee being the squad leader for Zulex Ray Delta this evening. Grenade out, that will take down Mohom just with the debris there, but also Deacon going down from Azula X-Ray Deltas Lee. Let's have a look. Now, a couple more Azula X-Ray Deltas are Shoshin and Tomday, just the south side of the story side. Tomday going down there by Ops Nighthawk. And a lot of fire happening over on the northeast 6075, where we do have Squad 3 getting on up, uh, already onto the first flag. Of, they've got contact southwest of Stoic the west military <laughs> forces, all the militia forces. Uh, looks like Exodus as well coming under contact there by just below me now. Uh, FHB, the fighting honey badgers. Uh, they're taking contact from the 300 northwest region, which is Exodus. We are playing a 500 ticket game, guys, in two hours as well. Uh, already the first couple of minutes. Of course, the delayed start, waiting for everyone in. Already the first couple of minutes, uh, six tickets lost for the American forces. There's a possible fog run. Marked them up. I'm gonna go check it out. With a squad ops uh, basically holding the east side of the storage compound and SVG coming over to the western side with Zulex Ray Delta and Fighting Honey Badgers over on that west as well. Uh, let's uh, leave the storage side. My main entrance is just over towards uh, the Mumble Range, just below me now. Go, heading up uh, Death Alley or Death Valley, which I call this section here. Usually uh, an alley used to get to the castle region. Uh, looks like Nordic possible fob. They're going to check out this region here. Sometimes fobs are located there. With squad 3 being the 303rd 
on the first cap of the Militar Forces, placing a fob there also, uh, which is just located here. Uh, is it the case that the 303rd will stay on that first cap all round? Uh, hoping for the Mumbleweens, Zulex Ray Delta, fighting Honey Badgers to secure the rest of the the flags. I'm unsure what the, the squad lead's uh, tactic is in this game, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Squad Ops are still on the east side, and SVG of the Serenian Vanguard over on the west side of Storage. So you do see the Reds being the milit uh, Militar Forces, or the Militia Forces, with the Americans uh, just below me in the blue. Grenades are out there, just missing. Possibility of backup here, guys. Just missing a couple. Uh, with, with Fighting Honey Badgers taking contact right, from Exodus, Exodus now cleared on the West 285 300 region. Alright, we're taking defense right now. There, it's too wide open. And it looks like 303rd will take defense. And Mumble Marines will start pushing over towards the storage site, maybe uh, looking to cut off any uh, reinforcements that Squad Ops and SVG may have onto onto this. I will start pulling back down. Squad fees on the moment. Already contacted the Electro Delta and Squad Ops you guys close focus quarter on combat. And SVG staying inside the, the western compound of storage yeah, just below me. Fire with a lot now a lot of fighting honey badgers and Zulex Ray Deltians come on or coming on over. Uh, Chronic and his Exodus crew will look to uh, get up to the same position, maybe even flank around uh, fighting honey badgers. And uh, we do have just Jamie just below me here with the good old uh, assault rifle. Uh, suppressing that Western storage. SVG trying to come on out but uh, couldn't. And even Mummerine swinging on back over towards the north region. Trying to now get into the boards. Wow, what a RPG. They're taking down three. Zulex Ray Deltas, Mihom, Sass, and Lee getting taken down by that uh, RPG. Uh, possibly by there with uh, the SVG and just inside there. Calm now looking to get in. Popping out a grenade. Is that enough? And it is. Now, Marines will start pushing into the western side compound. Exodus or Exovar, a bit of a mix there, are coming in from the northwest region, already fighting Honey Badgers and Marines. Even SVG respawning so fast, because it possibly could right, be a fob up here. on there. Get in storage. I'll find that fob and take it out. The Nordic now yeah, stating good. that he's going to try and find the fob and see where their spawning is. Uh, yeah, basically, spawns are coming in from with uh, fighting Honey Badgers coming in from the northwest 330. Uh, now covering with the smoke, it looks like a couple down, medics getting their guys up, savoring tickets, 473 no, tickets fine. already. Here for a the western side of storage is heavily compromised, uh, already a techie down as well, uh, it will cost 8 tickets for the military forces. And the west side of storage is cleared by Zulu X-Ray Delta, a couple of Mumbleweeds and uh, looks like Fighting Honey Badgers at F FHB uh, with the east side not covered. Age of Kill coming in from the north, 1530 right to left. The possible Age of Kill will come along and support uh, to get in behind and support their Militar folk. Or look to push into the east side of storage just located and now with 303rd are staying back at the defense. R303 pretty much secured. Yes, they are. None of their flanks are taking any contacts or any flanking motion are happening. Squad ops, it looks like they're spawning in from that northeast 60 area. So we're probably looking around about here. They're, they're starting to come in. But all action is happening on the west side. West side. With SVG taking some heavy casualties there. A couple of medics are up. Uh, possibly uh, one medic. Maybe even two. They're going to try and get their boys back up. A couple of marines as well taking some heavy casualties. But it, it, it is all happening. Uh, looks like Fighting Honey Badgers now pushing up the northwest, securing any of the the Exodus bodies. Uh, looks like Exodus OC is left alive by himself. He's dealing with a couple of Americans just towards his south region. Uh, but we do have, it looks like a three-man squad now. Chronic, Scam, Jim Jam, and Clutch. 
placing a rally point up on the 240-225 ranking, getting in behind. It looks like Exodus will maybe place a fob in behind the position. Maybe uh, enough to start pushing it into the storage from the, the southern point. Without a Logitruck, truck, that fob will stay inactive for five minutes. Uh, it looks like we do have even squad ups coming in from the E75. With now Zulestray Delta shifting from the west to the eastern side. Coming into contact previously with Age of Kill located on the northeast 30. But a lot of Zulestray Delta. Give or take, we have around about two, around about four of their squad, are, uh, squad members are down. But Zulestray Delta's Jamie, a very good suppressor. Uh, I've seen here, not looking to get the kills, but just yeah, the yeah. suppression area. Tom Bay suppressing, it looks like Anton Owens from Squad Ops. Azulex Ray Delta now will start getting uh, possible contacts in from the North 1530 area. We do have Azulex Ray Delta's lead, which is down in that position. I'm sure he'll be using his squad comms to advise where the enemy's footsteps are coming from. Southwest of the southwest of the D flank. It looks like Exodus, as stated before, now trying to hit the south side of the western side storage. Chronic and his crew just uh, below me. With, uh, looks like uh, around about three or so fighting honey badgers. We have El Dorino as well as Mother. Mother being the squad lead, I, I'm assuming, yes. Mother the squad lead there. We'll start securing the western side. Well, it looks like the Mumbarines are going to start pushing up towards the northern side. Uh, just located here. Uh, maybe looking to swing around. Maybe even place a fob up towards that region to get on the castle. Uh, they do have SVG, the Serenium Vanguard, up on that castle there. Uh, two, four, five inside the castle zone. And some pushing out with H uh, HMS Deacon, uh, Respector Zone, Christopher, and Blaster My AK pushing out on towards the western side of castle. They will come into contact with uh, Mumbarines momentarily. But now even uh, Beva Zulu getting on in. Towards the west side, El Dorino going down there with, uh, looks like Zulu. Let's get up high and yeah, see we what the tactical... The a lot of smoke out, basically stating either recovering or a lot of casualties. Now looks like even fighting honey badgers coming in and assisting their brothers within the western side of the storage. Ops and Viva Zulu, uh, Zulu are within the, the west side with uh, two, one op now. Uh, Anton owns on the east side of storage. Zulek Ray Delta, Mohom very close to that region. No one on the defense there. Squad Ops now looking to push out on the east side again. Try and hit the storage from the east side. It's the most open for the military to get onto that storage. While the west is hey, under heavy, uh, heavy American control. Get on storage, guys. Major Kill now coming in to assist the securing of the east side storage. Let's have a look at the flags, guys. So we do have the military capping, of course, their first flag, Railroad Village, uh, the castle under the control of the military, and the United States a capping first flag, second flag, and the storage site. And what I didn't actually notice is good old number six, and it is being capped. Now being capped, flashing, flashing away. There are more militia on the cap zone. Uh, looks like it's Zulex Ray Delta just below me. Jamie again uh, looking to suppress and get into that position. I'm going to head on over. I did see a Humvee, which is a 303rd. They're going to play it a bit risky here, but they're going to bring their guys in on the east side of Castle. 
bolt on down and with Bash now driving. Has to be very careful not to lose that. 16 tickets would be on the line for that Humvee. But the east side now, 303rd, give or take, 4 up. Steve. Should we cup it? Tikarnas as well as Metal. And they do have the assistance of Mumbrees coming in from the west side. Actually, it might be a really good play here. Uh, if there is enough. But SVG are going to use as many of the nooks and crannies of the castle. And the elevation as well to defend off the Americans that are looking to attack. Uh, 303rd and a couple of Mumbrees from the western region. We still good on storage or do you need our help? About everyone is enjoying what we're seeing Repeat at the balance. moment. It's only 15 minutes in. Slow the cup of the cup, it's a bit of it. It's hanging in the balance at the moment. Copy, I'll come in. Uh, in so SVG up, doing uh, really well uh, to secure the castle. Uh, two yeah, here, yeah. Davros and Ritsu. Ritsu now going to head on out and secure those dead bodies to make sure they're alive. Double tap him if it is a, always a must. And we do have even uh, SVG couple here, Simon Christopher and Blast My AK. Okay, uh, Medic here, Simon is going to try and get his guy up. Only one Mumbarine to his south. We're being deceptious. He's going to now fall back. And only around about three, four... Actually, around about a five-man squad of 3rd are still up, but uh, one going down. FC, full contact, helping out 303rd with the numbers this evening. Ritsu is uh, causing a bit of havoc, taking down another, being Chief J Strongbow from the 303rd. But all is happening on the storage site. Militia neutralizing storage site. Why am I here? I was going to check it out, but let's happen. And look at the blues. Look at the reds. It is absolutely intense over at the storage site. Any of you guys that have played this before on a pub server or even a, an event, you will notice that it is absolute chaos. So the western side with uh, FHB fighting honey badgers, they do have to deal with squad ops and a kill out towards the west 2A5 region and Exodus coming on in as well. A lot of Exodus guys are down and a few others of the military forces on the western side. Eastern side, we do have a kill covering that, but with Mummarines also pushing in. 439 tickets for the American forces. Squad Ops even coming in from the 6th region. Lobo, Mao, Barton, and Nighthawk. Neutralization of storage site for the US forces. Let's get up higher. Let's see what colors we see. We do see a lot of blue now in the storage side region, but a lot of reds on the western side. Let's have a look at the map. A lot of reds or military coming in from this region, as well as about a three-man squad just below me on the yellow dot. But the eastern side now fully covered. There is two AOKs left. Harry Winston being the next, getting taken down there by Deceptious. Nice jump there. Jumping on the uh, concrete barrier onto the fence, taking down Harry. Harry not having the reactions needed to uh, get him down. Now for the western side, a heavily under contention of Militar and the American forces. I'm counting on the points as contact close south. Even the south side of the west of the story, Lobo Mao and a couple of Ops guys even cutting off the American forces looking to come back. El Duderino getting taken down there. Tom Day and Giddy still up for the Americans. And Hannah and Lee up towards that further western side. Only Lobo Mao is still alive. And a trade, our first trade that we've seen. Lobo Mao from Ops taken down. Zulay Straight Day does Mohom and vice versa. Now Naughty getting into the Western region. Squad Ops and Exodus Chronic being the uh, squad leader for Exodus. Are securing the Western side of the storage. Eastern side is more or less secured by yeah, Mumble Reads and Zulay Straight Delta. Hey, welcome back, you with the Humvee coming on in. Chronic on the outside here, just... 
Getting taken out there by Naughty. Hovering's Naughty. So SL on SL action. Zulu is going to try and take down Naughty there. A bit too close there with the GL. Maybe if it had that rubber bullet feeling to suppress and maybe unsteady the, the person. It's a bit too realistic, but as stated before, the western side, just below me, our militia are trying to attack. It's a bit of a split storage that we do see. A lot of militia on the west and the east side controlled by the American forces. AOK -okay, still coming in from that north 1530 region. Guys, watch your spreading. They've got GLs. Just in the smoke here. Bit of suppression here from the 313 Steve. Suppression action. Let's see what this spread for the American forces are. So quite a bit of a spread here. Uh, we do see the Americans trying to hit the Western compound now. They are taking, uh, looks like, enemy forces as far as Alpha 7, Keypad 3. With a couple of uh, fighting honey badges coming in from that, uh, going into that region. It uh, looks like a uh, small basic will be the ones trying to suppress. Possibly with the SVD there for the military forces. What three Latigras is staying at the defense. You guys move out. Blue Lake Trade Delta taking a couple of casualties just uh, to my northwest on the red smoke. Uh, Exodus just beyond that, around about give or take 75 or so meters. 402 tickets remaining, 1 hour 34 left on the clock. Now the western side with Mummarines and uh, Fighting Honey Badger on the western side storage. That is now secured. The eastern side, we do have Drone and Third and uh, Mummarines on the east side storage. But that Humvee, I was about to say, is getting slightly flanked there with Age of Kill and some Ops. GL's now peppering it. Bash just below me here. It looks like he's going to be the squad lead for the 303rd this evening. Having the squad leader kit. Now with a lot of military now slipping from the west to the east. Even our Age of Killer and Ops coming in from the east area. Uh, with a couple on the front line as well, Age of Kill, AOK, -OK, and Ops. Their next target is not the West. They're splitting up the American forces with a lot of Americans now. Getting drawn out by Exodus. Look at their last stand here. A, uh, let's get up a bit high. The Red, of course, being the military forces and Exodus just below me with the Red. A lot of Americans are getting drawn out to the west, but not looking on the east. With only uh, some 300 thirds located there. Below me on the western, uh, the western side of storage, we do have some Marines 303rd as well. But we're going to see a large amount of militia and military coming in. Uh, they're possibly going to flank in from the southeast 150 area, swing right around. So we are looking at here on the map. We may see military push towards the southern region, as well as a bit of a push. Bit of a push. They're going to start pushing the west. And here we have it. 303rd now disembarking or getting out of the storage site. With the Age of Kill now coming in. Western side covered by 303rd Zulay Stray Delta and some Mumbrines only around about a 2-4. It will take actually a three-man squad on the western side. Storage, you need to get it in there. Just got 
Translators, uh, Translator Nordic, uh, calling into squad 2, get back onto yep. the east side. Couple of casualties here, possible GLs. Even Bucci, uh, out of this far. 393 tickets remaining. 30 minutes of play. Heads up, we do have a northern fob if you need to spawn there from their other side of the castle. Holy Zulu X-ray Delta yeah, Slee inside this area. Taking shots at an age of kill, a Gimlid. Enemy fob going down in the northwest. There he goes Ripper, but Zule Tree oh, Delta's no. leave will get taken out. The western side now secure of the storage. A bit of a split storage we have at the moment with uh, Zule Tree Delta's Mumbo right here in the third, covering the west. Age of Kill squad ops coming in from the east side, even uh, looks like some. Right, squad four, we're taking this far. Some oh, exodus as well. We got this. Copy. So, possible fob. Going down as well. Uh, do you want us to push up to castle? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Go to castle. So a lot of American forces just yeah, below me. Uh, Mixture of uh, three clans, Mumbarines, Fighting Honey Badgers, and Zulesh Ray Delta. Nope. Yeah, they're still on this east and side. You can build at the moment. Coming back with our squad from the south. Yeah. Alright, Palm of Resilience coming back and holding. No, 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 no. One in four. Go to uh, the attack flag. We got the defense. Copy. Rear third are taking the defense. As you can see on the screen, a lot of reds, a lot of Melisite coming in from that east direction. Quite a few down. Score, Jim Jam, and Yato. It is being tapped as well, or neutralized. 383 tickets remaining. There's contact uh North of my furthest decal. Losing story. The storage now being lost. Uh, Looks like Nordic and his crew are going to start coming in from the northwest region. Just to help with the uh, taking back of the storage. It's slowly getting utilized by the military militia. Uh, with a the left ray delta even flanking as, as far north to uh, get around onto the eastern side. Now the suppression happens with the GL spam. Steve and Steve Strongbow are coming in. Tom looks like he got to get uh, taken out there. Maybe even by some more base up there. Nice. Taking down Seething War from the squad ups. So let's have a look at the maps, guys. So we do have even some Americans pushing around. Pushing, it looks like uh, maybe fighting honey barrages. Yes. They're going to try to attack the storage. They do have SVG over on the storage side. Couple of 
contest out towards the northeast. Northeast of the uh, east side storage. We can switch and go to attack flag if you guys like. Ops now spawning back in as well as uh, yeah, looks like uh, Exodus OC, Jim Jam as well. Anton Owens gets taken down there by Zulestre Delta's Mohom. Um, v in the open. Jamie peeking around the corner there. Has Harry Winston, De Niro, and Cedos in the east side. Grenades out, maybe a bad grenade. Bad grenade there, so let's try Delta taking down Eatle. RPGs now coming in from the east. Check out south side of the storage, guys. We need to get into the castle right away. We're going to go check on castle very shortly as well. We do have south side of storage there. Agent Hill taking on the south side of storage. RPG suppression on the east side storage. Age of, uh, Age of Kill as well as... Viva Zulu getting onto the eastern side. Cap back in play for the military forces. A lot of blues down there. The military Delta's going down. Cross with that RPG took them all out. Uh, be advised for you have contact to your northwest between my guys and your guys. Looks like a, a possible double hit that we're going to see. FHB on the west side castle, the and then east side the castle, 303rd. Three three eight tickets remaining one twenty three. Yeah, 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 it could be done enough, so keep an eye Bo Mao just taking down Nordic as well as Shoshin there. 335 tickets remaining for the American forces. East side of storage, heavily controlled now by the militia forces. Even uh, pushing over towards the western side. Jim Jam, small basic, and two tone Chutin. Needle gets taken down there. One Mumbarine left gets taken down as well. Mumbarine's beginner is still alive on the west side. Still being capped by the military forces. Let's have a look over towards the castle. SVG are holding out the Americans, uh, what I can see from a distance. Three thirds getting taken down. A couple of our uh, honey badges coming in towards the main castle complex. A couple of SVGs down. Now the techie, if I'm not mistaken. Now the techie on fire. One more hit will take that down, costing eight tickets for the military Radio forces. Captain 50, uh, in about 50 seconds. Militia captain. Uh, we're trying to push in now. It's better.
Elder Arena, Mother. Angry Spartan, Broomy still alive for the fighting Honey Badgers. Only Ritsu left alive on the castle. Capping still happening on the Militar, uh, with the Militar forces, with the storage. You can see all the way there with the flash, flash, flash. Ritsu on a warpath here. SVG's Ritsu taking down another fighting Honey Badger. Right, but getting taken down himself. Broomy staying back. SVG spawning in from their main off to the northeast. 60 75. Let's see if the fighting Honey Badgers can get in. So Militia now capturing the storage site. Fighting Honey Badger Squad 4, unable to cap the ca the castle. Uh, possible 303rd there, found a fob just on the Foxtrot 6 keypads 2-3. Got a couple people in the rim hole. We're gonna head on over and see if that is the case. A lot yeah, of man. military forces are located there. Possibly digging it up and getting rid of it so the 20 tickets don't get taken, which they are doing. Trying to get rid of that fob. 1GL would be a, a perfect thing to have. Bash getting taken down. Chief Strongbow still alive as well as a full contact helping out the 3 or 3rd this evening. Medic will try to get Bash up. With AJK or the military forces having enough. Okay, this three man squad may get flanked in from the east side as well as an agent coming on over. Bash getting taken, getting. Fuck, I'm down too, man. Well, being revived, only Bash still. Bob still active for the military forces. But with AGQ now looking to flank around, which they did. Yato, Seedos, Arthur taking is down their three man 303rd uh, uh, squad. Let's have a look on yes, the story side. It looks like a neutralization will be oh, back for the American forces. Getting onto the storage, the east and west side. More on the west side than the east. But they do have Exodus coming in from the 240255 region. Looking at the southwest side of storage, we are looking at enemy forces coming in from here. And enemy forces also coming in, give or take, around at this position as well. 245 tickets remaining for the American forces. 117. Left in play, 1 hour 17 left in play. We're neutralizing now. Welcome to CCFM 42 guys, server 2, neutralization of the storage and now for the American forces, that's going to help him out, getting him back into it. Not fighting on the back foot, let's have a look at Nilrum, so SVG looking to sneak over, Christopher getting in towards the cap zone, respect is earned now, slowly crawling in, and Davros trying to push over as well. They will have the 303rd getting onto the D zone, Christopher now going down on Nilrum, we are looking here, from a distance. With Exodus still coming in from that west, 285. DL still being spammed out. Very good suppression as well as assault rifles. Now Chronic getting into the zone as, as quick as he can. With our uh, two, five, two, like, three, Deltians. Copy. We got no, uh, no rooms, okay. Bit of, de bit of deja vu the over here with uh, Chronic. Nice grenade out, out there by Beaver style. Is it enough? Takes down Jamie, takes down little Jenny. Takes down the rest. Zulu getting into the west side. That's all Americans down on the way. Very good breach here by the military forces on the west side storage. East side now also getting breached by one ops Nighthawk. 
couple, a lot of age of kills down on that east side as well. But the west side story is getting fully supported. Two to eight tickets remaining. One hour fifteen. Wow. On, uh, CC event 42 server 2 guys. This is what I'm it is happening. Uh, looks like fighting honey badges as uh, are still trying to come into contact with SVG. Even as far up as uh, a bit more north. So they're getting in contact even as far as over here. Possible trying to find a fob. Don't, to f yeah, don't forget to check out server yeah. one, guys. We run two servers. Uh, you're looking at 16 clans, a 4v4 on each, or 8 clans on each server. And let's trade Delta and Mummer is now going to start pushing in. Two squad leads, Lee and Nordic and his squad are going to start getting... Okay. I got him. He's done, he's done. He's done. He's done. Chronic Another getting one. taken Go. down as well. Nice. Mumble Reads and Zulu Trade Delta now securing the western side. Patty cake, patty cake. And with the Could east side in. still, the militia Recap heading in from that zone. Brandon and third are going to try and see if that fob maybe is still active over there. Or did the Age of Kill get rid of it, as they were planning to do until good old Bash and two others, Strongbow and FC, three-man squad trying to take down that fob, but unfortunately got flanked by Age of Kill. 219 tickets remaining, 1 hour 30. Yes, go. don't forget to go check out the server one, guys, on twitch.tv forward slash community clan fight nights. But we do have the two-man purple rain team or stream team, such as Zulectro Deltas, Hot Potatoes, and Fear Academy's Red Six. We need the stream of Server One, playing the exact same map, but with eight different clans. Americans now securing the western side storage, pushing over towards the east as well. Lee calling in there that the cap on storage is now almost fully validated with North 1530. Uh, we do have uh, some militia from that and also out towards the East 105, 120. And that is it for round one. One with the 232 tickets there. We were looking at Mumbering, Zulex Ray Deltas, the 303rd Tiger Battalion and the Fighting Honey Badges or the Baracko Badges. Oh, good shit. Uh, taking out round one there against Squad Ops, Age of Kill, Exodus, and uh, this Iranian Vanguard. Guys, we will be playing a second round in...